Hindu, how are you? Hello, Beth. I'm good. How are you? Yes, very, very good. Thank you. Um, um, I've, I've, you know, like when you look at the entire um, tools in action, uh, different sessions, um, yours was one I was particularly interested in because, um, yeah, uh, I, I guess working when things are in real time is definitely adding a difficulty to already a bit of a difficult space. So, um, yeah, uh, keen to, to, to hear about it. So I'll, I'll let you share uh, all your knowledge. Thank you. Thank you. Hello, everyone. Uh, this is Indu, and I work for Cisco Systems. I'm a senior software engineer and architect. So today, whatever I'm going to discuss, I'm discuss, I'm going to discuss more about how we can dynamically configure the user interface along with the backend backend infrastructure, and how AI can collaborate along with the platform to do uh, these things dynamically. So. And today's session, I'm not going to going to walk through code session, but yes, the futuristic concept concept I'm going to talk about. So, just look how how interface is getting changed into the into the modern era. Right now, users' expectation is totally changed, drastically changed. I can see they want a proactive, interactive, dynamic, predictive, and personalized interface along with the accountability. Traditional interface, you know, it is reactive and it is more of a user uh, predefined feature, right? Fixed and restricted uh, feature that user could have along with the interface. But as we know, like a low code got very famous and user can create uh, create interface in real time and personalize their interface according to their need. Now, how AI is going to transform these particular things? AI is going to involve into the infrastructure or, or uh, we can say platform infrastructure and connect in real time so that whatever whatever code uh, developer earlier used to write to 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 leverage the low code infrastructure now ai taking place and ai controlling how or what format user want to see the data onto the interface and uh, other part is that how how ai is going to control data so yes it is a lot of lot of uh, discussion behind the scene happening how how public uh, public generated models can con connect with the connect with the uh, user data nobody wants to let that connect right so my explore is that how we can create a close binding between between the gen ai plus our user specific data in an authentication and etherization way so that they can connect in real time, they can merge with each other and then uh, produce, uh, produce a result as user want. Right? So what Gen AI enables? Gen AI enables uh, predictive rendering, context-aware adjustments, and self-optimization. And all these can connect together and create a beautified user experience to the, to the user, right? So Predictive rendering rendering means that AI anticipate like user action and uh, prepare pre prepare a UI element in advance. Context aware adjustment is similar like AI personalized user interface based on user behavior and user preferences. That is what I was talking. That is really important into the new era of software and self optimization. AI learn from interaction to improve the prospective of the user and actually let user notify what user want to do with the platform or how platform can be more useful to the user and how it can be done so earlier i was saying like uh, uh, llm based gen ai client right what they do they they are public uh, uh, open public uh, prompt right and it's go directly to the directly to the llm server and connect and response what is uh, how i can see the future is it can connect with the connect with the user data and how it can connect if we have something in middleware so that that uh, uh, that request go to the middleware where uh, application data and api is sitting and they make connection with the llm models right and then then client goes to the server i mean when i say server it is local server 
and connect with the connect with the data uh, databases connect with the connect with the files connect with the connect with the resources that user has and then in the response data coming from the user user uh, resources and then formation of data and learning over data and and beautifying and uh, uh, personalizing that data it is going to be happen through the gen ai so you know if i give the data and tell gen ai hey i need a table or i need a pie chart that is get compiled inside the inside the application client and then it is going to going to deliver to the to the user according to the preferences that user user asking about data maybe after after getting used to the platform user asking like a statistical data or contextual data that user don't know how how user can see that data better so user can again prompt through the platform hey i need this particular data but i want to be specific format where i can see the analysis onto the data and where i can make the decision so what it what is happen behind the scene we request a client and client goes connect with the data get the data and then client connect with the llm models also and try to communicate that hey this is the data and format according to the your need right so what it does it it's compiled behind the scene and it it return whole formatted data into the interface now user responsibility to save those data or arrange according to their need and and enable a interface right there so that user can come and explore that data again and again according to their preferences and choices so whatever low code used to do or no code platform used to do everything that that whole responsibility could be taken from the gen ai and data is there user understand where is the data and how to communicate with the data and compile together and get the get the response the way user want and uh, here is a breakthrough like uh, uh, we talk a lot about model context protocol that is that is uh, pretty much exciting protocol right now in ai industry right what it does it is connect uh, connect the dot between gen ai versus user data so here uh, in the in the big picture in the high level like how user connect user connect for data into the server and user wants the data uh, the way they want to see that data so the the user request for the data and it's go to the mcp client mcp client connect to the server mcp server and get the data and behind the scene what is happen is gen ai involve into that one and connecting with that data and returning the data that user wants in their way right so this is this is kind of big breakthrough uh, like a, like a happening happening in ai industry uh, a lot of companies developing like a, a you can hear all agentic uh, agentic programming right what is happened we have a context i mean we have a file and folder and then gen ai connect those file and folder modify according to the user need i mean creating a getting getting reference of the functions from the from the gen ai server and at the same time what it does it is connect with the connect with the local data and create a create a source code similarly just think about it if we have a platform and platform has a prompt to connect with the mcp client and the good part is M mcp client is kind of it we can build inside a M msp client whole triple a feature like authentication authorization and accountancy so that user can connect with the data safely at the same time it connect with the gen ai with a trusted source and return the data more more accountable way so so that no uh, if we are enabling such kind of technology in the platform it can be more secure and protected at the same time it has all the feature capabilities that gen ai already have uh, like gpt let's suppose someone using gpt uh, model right it has everything whatever uh, chat gpt can give or 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 gpt 
LLM can give at the same time it can it is connecting with the connecting with the external data source. External means user data source, right? And combine them together and returning the user re, returning the response according to the user need. That is what the what the what the uh, what I was trying to explain and how how the platform is platform is specific software is gonna to look like. And here, conclusion of my task is real-time optimization. Uh, we know, like, uh, like, uh, Genia is very powerful and it can do a lot of things. But if we leverage this Genia into the platform itself and let them connect with the data in real time, then we are not worried about how we can for we can format the data. It is it is happening behind the scene at the same time in real time. So we do not have to develop a lot of, lot of endpoints according to user need. We are kind of optimizing whole development process and letting, letting Gen AI control the data and data formation. Maybe the data is going to use for table or chart or, or some other purposes or maybe analysis or maybe counters or maybe textual data formations, right? Or maybe messages based on those data. That is going to be happening in real time. So a lot of optimization happening behind the scene by leveraging such, such scenario into the, into the platform. And AI-powered adaptability, like as I say, uh, it, is, it is very, very dynamic, like right? And we can kind of um, we can we can leverage this technology by without without uh, manual in intervention it is happening in real time and let's suppose it is response data in different format we can again communicate our prompt to the prompt to, to the mcp client uh, to to redefine the data it will be redefined from the background and re return return if user is not agree again can can keep going uh, in the loop and till satisfied it can interact with that and get the response as they need right uh proactive performance uh, uh tuning as i said like the more you are connecting connecting with the data through mcp client uh from the platform it is it is learning again and again how you are used to interact sometimes let's suppose your your uh, your prompt is prompt message is not appropriate but but the Gen AI understand what really you are looking and it's connect with the uh, contextual resource that user have and and format the data accordingly so it can sense what user really really looking for that and uh, by doing that i said like it is going to uh, improve the uh, user experience at the same time it is going to uh, like leverage is scalability and efficiency without without uh, without human intervention in it, everything is happening in real time and future ready approach is emcp uh, integrated uh, next gen ai for continuous improvement that is going to happen and you can see when i say emcp it is not a single agent agent protocol it is one to one and we can build as many as MCP client and server together, so that so that we can we can have information specific data as user needed. Like one 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 MCP client and server for the for the for the text based data, one for the for the database oriented, one for the uh, time series data. Like we can build in future as many as we want according to the context need so that it cannot collide, collide with each other and it should be very very specific what user want and how user want with this thank you so much and i know it was a very very uh, crisp and uh, 15 minute talk so i i tried myself to 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 have the information as limited as i can but yes if you want to connect with me and and uh, want further information i'll be available with you thank you so much indu like i really enjoyed this and as you said it's definitely a lot of knowledge uh, packed into a very short period of time uh, but this is what we like you know so um so thank you for that um
a very quick side thank you as well that you're the only speaker that I respected the time for the Q&A. So kudos for you on this. Um, we actually have a couple of questions and actually a quick note before like um, really good point and spot on point about the MCP. Like obviously there's a lot of like different standards as well arising. I don't know if you saw, but like um, Microsoft officially is going to support also like uh, Google's A2A. So that's going to be also an interesting one to see how it develops. Um, now, jumping into what the community wants to ask you. So I think I'll just pick one or two because, again, we have only three minutes. So a question on um, from Shreya. How can developers ensure performance and scalability with dynamic interfaces? I'm just going to maybe add something to it because this is very broad. But like maybe what are some low-hanging fruits uh, for devs? Yeah, that is a very nice question. Like uh, earlier uh, in my talk, I to I said the uh, keyword like low code, right? And what low code is do is let user to communicate with the data, and then let user to write a query and format that data accordingly, right? So just think about it. If as a as a user, I'm writing those query onto the platform, it can be not that performant as Jenny I can generate nowadays, right? So if we, we can give or pass through the right structure to the Jenny AI and saying in real time, write a query to merge the data in the efficient or uh, fastest way it can build. And it can also suggest how, how it can tweak to the structure if user want to leverage that structure behind the scene, right? So that is, uh, I'm just, trying to say whatever low code or no code, code was doing, eliminate that. And other than that, inbuild the chain AI along with the data and let them do what they were, what, uh, what, what user wants to do. And having control, MCP has a control layer so that you are not exposing data directly to the chain AI. It is, you are, you, are, you are limited exposing your data and you are having control on top of it also. That makes sense. Thank you so much for uh, such a crisp answer. Um, well, I think we are running perfectly on time. So I uh, just wanted to say again, a huge thank you. I don't know if you had the chance to look on the community chat, but uh, a lot of uh, devs here have really enjoyed the talk. So thank you so much, Indu. Yeah, thank you. Thank you, Dad.